Good morning. Blessed morning. Hallelujah. Good afternoon. We worship Father. We thank Him. He's awesome. He's been a blessing to us. He's our daddy. Without Him, we're nothing. With Him, we have everything. I said with Him, we have everything. Now listen, I don't think I'm going to be too long this morning. I just want to give a word. We're going to pray, okay? But if you don't hear any word this year, if you don't, if nothing sinks in, I want to deal with people who are facing whether it's a legal challenge, whether it is something that is on paper working against you. I want to give you a word that you can stand on and pray. Listen to me. Without having to get anybody else involved and without having to go chasing anybody, I want you to receive this word. It looks like this season the Lord has given us clear instructions. And I pray this morning that the pipelines of heaven will be clean. This vessel shall be cleansed. This vessel is cleansed in Jesus' name. Anything which is a sin, anything which will disqualify, anything which will mix with the purity of the word this morning, we command it to be silenced. In the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now listen to me, because I know some people have to go to work. Some people prefer us to pray, just in case, you know, that, you know some people don't have much time, okay? And that's perfectly understandable. Some of us can stay after. So let's pray so that those who may have to go to work, you know, they can still get that prayer and still go about their business. Is that okay? So it is a blessed day. It is a blessed morning. We woke up, we slept, and we woke up in the land of the living. We woke up in the land of the living. It is enough. That alone is enough for us to give God the praise this morning. That alone is enough for us to magnify him. That alone is enough for saying, God, we thank you for life. In Jesus' name, we thank you for life. In Jesus' name, we thank you for life. We thank you for considering us. We thank you for being concerned about us. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. The Holy Spirit, we are committed and connected to you, God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bring ourselves, our families, we bring our loved ones before you and we ask because, of, you know, there was a fight. If you paid, if you paid attention to, uh, as a periscope yesterday, there was a fight. You know, every time the devil tried to bring confusion and, you know, if you're not careful, it will get you. And it was almost at that point where the Lord said, listen to me, the Bible says that to test the validity and the power of blood, what just now, the Bible says that God told the slaves that I'm going to come as death. Listen to this now. Pay attention to this. It's a very deep revelation. Most people miss it. I'm going to come as death. I'm going to walk through the whole land of Egypt. Symbolizing that, listen to me, there's a time or there was a time that was going to come where death will walk through the land simply because of the disobedience of the people of the land. Anytime there's disobedience... Anytime things go contrary to the word of God, be prepared for an assignment or the angel of death to walk, to patrol the nation because it is an open door that is necessary for the assignment of wickedness to come to pass. And so pay attention to this now. Only way any human being is going to, pre is going to be preserved, Mr. Cheryl, is if you have been smeared with the blood. Because he said in himself, he said, when I see the blood, guess what? I will pass over. When I see the blood. In other words, when I see uh, the blood, which is now, before my son will hang on the cross and say it is finished, I will see my son, which is now, on your doorpost. When I see Kalavar CVD Viosha, when death sees what is now the blood, death sees Jesus and what is now because Jesus cannot be crucified a second time. He's got to pass over. He's got to walk away. That's why there's always a contention when it comes to the power that is in the blood of Jesus. 
And so listen to me, you can pray for money, you can pray for those things. You can have money, you can have material stuff. But you know what? You can die and leave those things behind. Rather you pray for the blood of Jesus. Rather you spend time securing yourself, your destiny, your inheritance in the precious blood of Jesus. That is our mandate. That is our mandate. That is our assignment. We secure our homes, our lives, our loved ones, our children. My God, our children, our children, our children. Ah, our children, demons, 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 demons which have been unleashed in the schooling system. My God, demons which have been unleashed into buildings. Territorial spirits which control buildings. Sacrifices which have been made, which has opened up the doors for these demons to pounce on us. To pounce on our children. To be unleashed in our community. In the name of Jesus. We stand against. We come against. We stand against. And we come against. We stand against. And we come against. We stand against 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 and we come against. In the name of Jesus. You know, yesterday, I got, you know, we got such a good response to the words. Sister Mary was saying people were emailing. And I think the prayer that we prayed was, God, uh, if you put... <laughs> Uh, if you make me the warehouse, uh, I will be the distributor. And you only qualify to pray this prayer when you've given of your five loaves and your two fishes. Make it sense? You only qualify, my God, you only qualify to pray this point after you've given of your five loaves and your two fishes. He said, God, if I'm going to recover all this season, there is no way I'll be able to recover all and keep it to myself. There is no way I will recover all and it's only going to be for me. Heaven doesn't operate that way. Heaven gives and it gives you an abundance like the disciples when Jesus commanded them to cast the net to the other side. What is now? They would normally make a catch and the catch will only be enough for their boats. But wait just now on this occasion because Jesus spoke the, the not only was the catch too much for their boats, they needed to call their other partners to come. And even when they came, wait just now, their boats also got full to the point where it was sinking, which signifies that wait just now, even if they called every other fisherman who was on the sea with them, they would still have been unable to hold the blessings. I keep saying this to you. The problem is never on God's side. Ah, with the woman, what is now? The oil stopped when the vessels ran out. My God, the vessels was not more than the oil. The oil was more than the vessels. I want you to change your mindset. Some of us are holding on to stuff. We're thinking that if we let it go, that will be our end. We don't have enough. My God, we're fearful that once we let go, we're going to be broke. But the Lord is saying, what is now? He said, your five loaves and your two fishes is only been given to you for me to see if you are capable of handing back to me what I gave to you in the first place. Vaso kalabasi. Nesu ki ki brio sha, veshon di ki brio saba, hila brason de kaba suba la brasia, vosen de piasa. There's a whole bunch of young people who are in school. You know, in Ghana, because of your prayers and because of your obedience to the call, because of your giving, a whole bunch of children are changing destinies. What is now what the devil desires for them to end up in because of your faithfulness and because of our prayers. Listen, it gives you a boldness to stand before Elohim and say, yes, God, it is me. Don't look like you're moving like I expect you to move because, God, I have given of what you've given me, my God. And I know that heaven has to respond to the cry and my giving so god where is the breakthrough where is the answer where is the deliverance in the mighty name of jesus 
Vosobosha, Libro Sebende Kava, Zozovo Kaba Sivi, Robo Sibi Bibio Shande Bibiosa, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen, I want to take you to what I want to I want to share with you this morning. Okay? I want to talk to those of you. I, 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 I never, I never want to hear from anybody after this word. Anybody who prays to pray, man, I never, never want you to tell me. I never want you to open up your mouth and declare that you don't feel like, you know, you don't qualify. Listen to me. Listen to this word, okay? Because either it has come already or it's going to come. And you need to stand on this word. Go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 23. Let me show you something. Deuteronomy chapter 23. If you're requesting jobs, whatever it is, listen to me. If you can stand flat-footed on this word, trust me, nothing will be held back from you. And I'm even talking to myself. I need to, I need to stop believing that I don't qualify. In the name of Jesus. Karabasi. No son devasibi. Boshoto Kavasi, Zezo Vazi Bedibio San Terebiosa, Voshe Bedebio San Talaba, Zezo Kavasebe, Basso Kovo, Zebro Shebe, Lebro Seben Debiosa, Vaso Bo Shebe, Zaza, Vosebe, Lebro Sibi. Now listen, listen, uh, you have Deuteronomy chapter 23, okay? Also have the book of Ruth open. Now remember, we prayed or we got revelation from that book. Okay, from the book of Ruth, I want to I wanna, I wanna just build a small foundation from there so that you will get to the point where I'm trying to get to, okay? The book of Ruth, chapter 1, just for the sake of time, I want to go through it quickly. Just want to pick up a few verses, okay? Now it came to pass, from verse 1, in the days when judges ruled that there was a famine in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab. Pay attention, he went to dwell in the country of Moab. Okay, so in this country now, he's in Moab. And, no, 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 I'm in the book of Ruth, chapter 1. First, you know, first of all, before we go to Deuteronomy, okay? I'm in the book of Ruth, chapter 1. Okay, now verse 3. Then Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died and, uh, and was left and has sons. Okay, verse 4. Now, they took wives of the women of Moab. And the name of one was Alpa, and the name of the other was Ruth. I just wanted to pay, I just wanted to put that in your spirit. They took wives, okay? They took wives, and their wives were from Moab. Okay, now I just want to take you back to Deuteronomy chapter 23. Okay, uh, they took wives, and their wives were from Moab. But pay attention, pay attention uh, to what Deuteronomy chapter 23 is going to say. Okay, uh, this is the law. Listen to this now, verse 3. Uh, an Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter the assembly of the Lord. Even to the tenth generation, none of his descendants shall enter the assembly of the Lord forever. Okay, uh, this text now is disqualifying anyone who has Ammonite blood or Moabite blood. This is what the text is doing. Basically, it's the law. The law of the land. This is the law that's been given to the children of Israel. He says an Ammonite or a Moabite is not qualified. Even up unto the 10th generation. So at least for a minimum of 10 generations, nobody who has that kind of this, you know, blood running through their veins qualifies. Just like some of you, just like some of us, the things that we're fighting. Because it has been written in stone, it has been written in the laws that anybody who comes from this house, anybody who comes from this family, anybody who comes from this neighborhood, anybody who comes from this tribe is never going to prosper. It has been set in stone. Hmm. Go back to the book of Ruth. Go back to the book of Ruth. So now then, you will understand why the close relative what is now you will understand why the close relative disqualified Ruth because he believed that he had a better inheritance and he did not want the mess of a Moabite woman to come into his inheritance and she says uh -uh, 
if it was just the land, I would have got it. But because of because you not only is she a woman, but you know, not not because she's a woman, but she's also a Boabitess. So I don't want her. Ah. And then you have the man on the other side, Boaz. Ah, Valavalsia. Father, let this word hit the person that needs to receive. Let this word operate as an arrow, my God. An arrow with a sharp edge. That when it hits this person, it will penetrate from the head to the toes. Father God, the word, Father, will infect this person who has been paralyzed with fear. My God, who is sitting because a word has been unleashed before they showed up that they are not supposed to go to the realms and to the levels that they are anticipating for themselves. The days of struggle is over. The days of struggle is over. The days of struggle is over. Valabasia. Uh, uh. I don't know. Ah. Uh. Uh, the inspiration behind the writer of this book. Uh, because the way he ends this book gives me hope. Uh, it gives me strength, Dr. Janil. It gives me confidence uh, that when human beings reject me, that is not the end of me. Uh, uh, when human beings reject me, when people disqualify me, that is not the end of me. Uh, sister, sister Cheryl, you know what I love about God, Sister Michelle? Uh, he, 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 he messes with my psychology every time. Just when I feel like I, th I think I've figured him out, he comes up with something different because... Uh, I think it would have been okay, you know, the story, the love story that most Pentecostals and charismatic preachers would preach about, you know, Boaz and, you know, your man and them kind of stuff. And that sounds good. That's, that's wonderful uh, for that level. Uh, but what is now, uh, God somehow allows a Moabitess whose genealogy is nothing to write, to write home about if you go back. You will see that the lineage haha, is coming really from incest. You know what that word means, right? Uh, you need to look at Brother Lot and, and figure out what happened between him and his two daughters. Uh, and so this is a questionable bloodline. This is a questionable bloodline. You know, like most of us are from questionable homes. You know, we have some murderers in the bloodline. Oh, come on now, don't, don't leave me hanging here. We have people who are in, who are on death row in the bloodline. You don't want to talk about them. That uncle, that auntie, you know, the one that beat up that person over the head and is now incarcerated, never to come out, never to see the light of day. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, maybe you need to turn out your volume. Maybe your volume is down. Uh, 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 you don't want to talk about that. Uh, so, what is now? This woman is coming from a lineage of incest. And the relative, the close one, the one that was supposed to redeem her, said, uh-uh, I don't want this in my family. Uh -uh, I can surely not get close to this. And God said, I thank you for rejecting this woman. Oh, I'm so grateful, Sister Cheryl, that she was rejected. I'm so grateful Prayer mantle that we were rejected because every single one of us, only reason why we come up to this point is because somewhere in our lives we all faced rejection. Whether it was through family, whether it was in business, whether it was for a job that you believed you was qualified for because according to the law, this woman was qualified to be redeemed. But here it is. Let me tell you something, prayer mantle. I love it when the Lord speaks to me. You know, when he speaks through me, I get a lot of revelation when I just and I close my eyes. I, I'm like, Lord Jesus. And some of you say, brother, I stop saying that because you have to have confidence. You know, we know God speaks through you. Ha. 
Pele Basia Havandi Kava Hibosha Yebrosa. Ah, ah. And I say to God, I said, God, what is the word this morning? What is it that you want us to gain? He said, Albert, uh, I have to allow rejection to happen. I have to allow rejection to happen because if the rejection doesn't happen, what I do, what is not, can never be conceptualized. It cannot be seen for the level that it is supposed to be seen at. Am I making sense? Sister Brenda, I, 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 maybe you can catch the replay if you, know, if you get the chance. And so, uh, uh, the writer of the book of Ruth ends the book by giving us a genealogy <laughs> of the product of the unison between the woman who was rejected, who was a Moabitess, and the man who was not in line but became the next of kin because the one who was in line rejected her because she was a Moabitess. My God, I just saw something, Sister Cheryl. Uh, not only did she become a Moabitess, but she was also a widow. Uh, None of the things that she was carrying was by choice. Am I making sense? Meaning that she didn't decide or she was of, you know, nobody consulted her to ask her, hey, would you want to be born a Moabitess? She would have said, no way. Would you want to be a widow? No way. Who sits down and decides that they want to be a widow? Who sits down and decides that they want to be born into a family where you have curses reigning? She has two things which are disqualifying her and none of them is her doing. Ah. Before Jesus would show up, who caval say, God would take her, uh, Sister Cheryl, and will engraft her into the bloodline. Ah. But what is now? This is what I love about God. This is what I love about God. Uh, uh, this is what I love about God. Uh, mm, mm. I still need to satisfy the law. Because the scriptures cannot be broken. So I've still got to pay for Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 3. It has to be satisfied. He says, after the 10th generation. Uh, let's read the genealogy from verse 17. No, from, from verse 18. The book of Ruth. Listen to this now. I don't want you to focus. Uh, listen to me. Sister Yvonne, I don't want you to even think about what you're going through. You know why? Because the word has come. Listen, don't miss this word. Write these scriptures. I'm telling you. Just like in the last week, two weeks, the Lord has been giving us revelation about the five loaves and the two fishes, and we're seeing the miracles which are happening. Grab a hold of this word. Listen to this now. Listen to this. Listen to this. Pay attention to the gene genealogy. He says, Now, this is the genealogy of Paris, which means that he is rewriting the history of the woman. Pay attention. He's rewriting the history, genealogy of the woman. Guess what he says? He says, now this is, which means that what has been written in the past, the blood, what this now has covered what was in the past. And you're now being given a new identity, a new genealogy. He says, uh, now this is the genealogy of Paris. Paris. Begot Hezron. Hezron begot Ram. Ram begot Aminadab. Aminadab begot Neshon. Neshon begot Salmon. Salmon begot Boaz. Boaz begot Obed. Obed begot Jesse. And Jesse begot David. Do you want me to rewind? He hasn't sunk in. He hasn't sank in because you know some people okay you know i know some of you some of them some of them names you don't know 
Some of the names you don't know. Do you, do you want me to go further? No, no, tell me. Do you want me to go further? If you want me to go further, then I need to skip to the New Testament. I want to know well, how much time do you have? Do you want me to go further? Because I know, you know, some people can shout at David because they know that name. Their mother name Salmon. Like, what, is, is, it, is it that fish? I know some of the names don't make no sense to you. Hezron, who is that? What does that mean? Perez, what does that mean? So I know some people are not, you know, your Holy Ghost hasn't kicked in yet. Okay? So, okay, let's go. Let's go to the book of Matthew. Uh, let's go to the book of Matthew. Uh, oh, cover ourselves. So this is years later. Uh, let's go to the book of Matthew. Let's see what Matthew will tell us. Uh, let's see, let's see, brother Matthew's in the spirit. My God. Vaso kabasia. Naton de 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 viosa. Vase basia to kaba. Zezo zava vili viosa. Leson de kabasia. Vrosi bidi viosa. Vason de kabasia. Zozo vasebe kalabasia. Zon toro robo shatalabasia. Zebro kaban de 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 viosa. Veso to kalaba. Zezeze vaso kalabrasia. Zon tere de viosa, libro sebe calabrasia, zozo cabasia, in the mighty name of Jesus, my God. Vaso, me sebe de viosa. Okay, okay, are you, are you in the book of Matthew? Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1. If you got time, we can go through this. Vaso, basebe, balaban de viosa. Okay, so work is now. Matthew catches the revelation. Okay? So Matthew is going to be like what you would call a broken record. Okay? But he's going to take us to another realm. So let's go back. Okay, what is now? Matthew is going to take us back. Further back. He, because he said, the book of the genealogy of who? Matthew chapter 1. Work with me on this one. The book of the genealogy of who? Because I want us to be on the same page. Valaban de Biasa, Libro Sebe, Kadaba, Zubi, Kadaban de Brio Saba, Libro. Come on, pray man, to talk to me. Kaba Sien. The book of the genealogy of who? Okay. No, no, don't just say Jesus, woman of God, differentiating, because there's a whole bunch of people out there calling themselves Jesus. Not, not, not just them, but now. Come on, say Jesus Christ. Give him his full title. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, who is he the son of? The son of David, the son of Abraham. Okay, so verse 2, Sister Cheryl, uh, the book of, I think the writer of Ruth got a bit excited. And so he started off from where he believed the readers could handle. Uh, but Matthew knows that he's writing to a whole bunch of you know, a different audience. And so he needs to take a few steps back. My God. And so he says, Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. Judah begot who? See, Ruth started off, you know, us off with Perez. But now we've gone further back because we're trying to figure out where the Perez come from. So now Perez has been linked with Abraham. So what is now? Perez begot, no, sorry, Perez Okay, Judah begot Perez and Zira by Tamar. Perez begot Hezron. Hezron begot Ram. Ram begot Aminadab. Aminadab begot Nishan. Nishan begot Salmon. Salmon begot Boaz by Rahab. See, uh, this one is making you understand uh, where uh, <laughs> Boaz came from. So, uh, Lord Jesus. Uh, who who shouted when when the writer said uh, Salmon begot Boaz by Rahab? Who shouted? I know the line is a bit you know slow and it's a bit behind, but you know uh, who shouted? Who caught the revelation? Because 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 I thought we we're just dealing with incest in the bloodline of Jesus. Oh Lord, did you hear what I just said? Uh, this is all in the bloodline of Jesus. By the way. Miss Frida, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I said, this is all in the bloodline of Jesus, the Yvonne Murphy. Uh, because when I do my check, it tells me, uh, 
which is now Rahab, okay, the Canaanite harlot of Jericho. Hmm. Ah, uh oh, okay, maybe not today. I won't go there today. Ah, uh, I just thought we we're going to deal uh, with the fact that there is incest in the bloodline. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, Salmon begot Boaz by Rahab. Boaz begot Obed by Ruth. Obed begot Jesse. And Jesse begot David the king. Uh oh. Uh, my God. Vosso talabasia. Zezon debiosa. Vaso. Ah. So what is now? What is now? Ah. Uh, Matthew doesn't finish there because he's trying to show us uh, how far in the bloodline uh, the connections are. Maybe I should stop here. Maybe I'll do this tonight. Uh, David the king begot Solomon by her who had been the wife of Uriah. Hey, Lord Jesus. Come on. Maybe, maybe some of this stuff, we, you know, we don't need to go through it today. So not only have we got uh, prostitutes not only have we got incest, we now have somebody born out of an affair whose husband is killed by the one who was sitting on the throne who should have known better. Okay. Uh, Solomon begot Rehoboam. Rehoboam begot Abijah. Abijah begot Asa. Asa begot Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat begot Joram. Joram begot Uzziah. Uzziah begot Jotam. Jotam begot Ahaz. Ahaz begot Hezekiah. Hezekiah begot Manasseh. Manasseh begot Ammon. Ammon begot Josiah. Josiah begot Jeconiah and his brothers. About this time, they were carried away to Babylon. Verse 12. And after they were brought to Babylon... Jeconiah begot Shealtiel, and Shealtiel begot Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel begot Abiud. Abiud begot Eliakim. Eliakim begot Azor. Azor begot Zadok. Zadok begot Achim. And Achim begot Eliahud. Eliahud begot Eleazar. Eleazar begot Methan. And Methan begot Jacob. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, who was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. My God. We're in the book of Matthew chapter 1. So what is now? Uh, the ones that were rejected have been engrafted into the bloodline of Jesus. Uh, one was disconnected by reason of the fact that she was a Moabitess. But because of the blood, because of the power, uh, before the Messiah would show up, God would say, you know what? I want you to be part of the story of my son. I want you to be connected to the story of my son. Brothers and sisters, I want to say something to you. If you never remember any word, especially those that go through rejection, remember these scriptures. Know it up by heart. Let the devil know you know who you're connected to. Let the devil know you know who your daddy is. Let the devil know that you know that you know that you know in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the word has been delivered, creating us a clean heart and purify your word in our spirit. Cast us not away. Let there be joy of salvation in our hearts so that, Father, we will continuously, steadfast, worship you. Let us be unmovable irrespective of what the devil throws in our direction. In the mighty name of Jesus. Valabasia. Lesu Kaba. 
Libro sebende bio salisit me all you got to do is to learn to hang in there. Just learn to hang on in there. Learn to hang in there. Hold on to God. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. There is nobody like him. My God. I said there is absolutely nobody like our God. He is worthy. He is worthy. I said he is worthy. To receive glory, honor, and power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Who has disqualified you? Who spoke that negativity over your life? What has been written in the rules, in the laws, that is, not, that is preventing you from becoming what he has called you to be? A woman who was not qualified, the Bible says, for up to 10 generations. A prostitute who was looked down on. The Lord will invade their womb. And use their womb to birth part of the chain, the genealogy of his son's bloodline. May God have mercy on us. May God have the final say. May God not disqualify us in the mighty name of Jesus. Kalalabasir. I just remember the prayer point that I need to pray. I had a dream. I'm going to pray for my family. I come against any form of accidents. Anything which is a car wreck. Anything that will bring a car crash. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pull you out. Oh, Basa. I pull my family out in Jesus' name. Anything which is tantamous to death. I block. I hinder. I cancel. I shut it down. In the name of Jesus. Let the devil be destroyed. And let the name of the Lord be exalted. God is good. Veko la blasia. Veko la vrasia. Veko la vrasia. Veko la vrasia. Veko la vrasia. In Jesus' name, Vaso Kalabasia, Zezo Talaba, Zezon de Brio Saba, Lobro Sibidi Biosha, Zebro Daba Sibidi Biosha. In the name of Jesus, we bless His name, we magnify Him, we exalt Him. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Isn't God good? Isn't God good? In Jesus' name. Amen. Basso talabasia. Veson de de biosha. Valaba. Zezo kaba. Zebro shebe de biosa. In Jesus' name. Amen. God has the ability that nobody else has to make sure that if only we can believe and trust him, we will make it into that place called victory. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' name, amen. Whatever it is, remember I told you this, you've got to give it to God. You see what I'm saying? Got to give it to God. Give it to God. Doesn't matter what they're calling you. See, what they're calling you, uh oh, listen to this, is your entry and your access point into Christ. God bless you, Sister Cheryl. You understand know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that they're using to disqualify you, that because, you know, I, 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 I don't know if I can describe it how I see it, but it's almost as if, you see, when you, when you give it to Him, what God has or what it is that God is, what is now covers eats up whatever they're saying. You see what I'm saying? Because God is bigger than big. God is bigger than big. I said God is bigger than big. In Jesus' name. Amen. 
The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord favor you. We ask for the hand of Jehovah in our lives. We ask for God to be our source and our strength. We ask for God to lead us, to direct us, and to show us the way to go. In the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, saints. Once again, once again, another powerful word. Once again, the word of God is real. Once again, the word of God is bringing, is bringing instructions. Now pay attention to what the Lord is telling you to do. Are you hearing me? Pay attention to what the Lord is telling you to do. Do you understand? Pay attention to what God is telling you to do. Pay attention and move by the word of God. In Jesus' mighty name. One thing that blessed me this morning was, remember the boats were sinking because of the blessing. The oil didn't run out. The vessels ran out. There is more than enough in God. Do you understand? There is more than enough in God. So why don't you keep your focus on him? Why don't you put your trust in him? In Jesus' name. Father, those of us who have put our trust in you, I pray that we will never fail. My brothers and sisters who have trusted you, who are still trusting you, God, Please, God, don't let us fail. I commit this ministry into your hands. Father, please, don't let us fail. Don't let us fail. Don't let us fail. Don't let us fail, God. Don't let us fail. Don't let us fail. Keep us, God. Bless us, God. Multiply our resources as we're doing your will and your bidding. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God keep you. I appreciate you all. Okay? I appreciate you all. God bless you. Have a blessed day. In Jesus' name. Those of you that have been messaging and, you know, are wanting to support some of the you know uh the projects you know thank you so much okay please don't neglect the responsibilities that the lord has given us a young boy was given the responsibility to feed over five thousand people never let your age your race your gender don't ever let anything disqualify you look up to god look up to jesus in jesus mighty name Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day. I'll see you later. Goodbye. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever he's alive. Amen. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever he's alive, amen. He's alive. God bless you.